Okay, welcome to the McNair Asian Elephant Habitat Pool Area. Today we are showcasing our Asian Elephant Herd for World Elephant Day. And in, uh, also with that, it's AZA, Asian Elephant Safe Month. So AZ, all AZA institutions with Asian elephants are working together to preserve Asian elephants since they are um, a threatened species. This is our way to try to protect them from extinction. Um, AZA institutions work together along with uh, locals in the range countries that the 13 range countries that these elephants would normally live in, um, working with the local stakeholders, government organizations, rangers, farmers, people that live close to elephants, all working together to try to save this important species. Um, so today we're showcasing our Houston herd. So uh, we have our 12 elephants here at the Houston Zoo. Um, right now we got four of them in the pool. Um, we have Tupelo, Winnie, Teddy, and Tilly all in the pool for you today. Um, so Teddy right here is our youngest. He is three years old. And then right behind him is Winnie. She's just two months older than him. And then Tupelo is Winnie's mom. And then um, these guys are just swimming. They're excellent swimmers. They love to play in the pool. They're in and out of the pool every single day. Um, elephants have to learn to swim. When they're babies, they don't know how, and then they gradually learn, um, and their moms will help them, and their big sisters and aunties will all take care of them while they're swimming, and then eventually they become excellent swimmers. You can see it's also, um, they're getting some apples right now in the pool, so we just kind of cut them up small so that they last longer. The elephants love to play bobbing for apples. It's a fun game for them. You can see them using their trunks to have to pick up those apples. Uh, their trunks are the most important part of their body. Um, it's kind of like their equivalent to our hand, except that it's not a hand at all, it's actually their nose. It's an extension of their trunk, their upper lip, um, and then that trunk is filled with tons of muscles, and then that way they can manipulate things to pick apples out of the pool or to take leaves off of trees, rip branches down, they can dig holes with their trunk, um, and they can also just touch each other, scratch themselves, pick up dirt and throw it on their bodies, whatever they need that for. Very, very cool animals that we have here. So these guys, uh, you might notice, um, they don't really have tusks that you associate with Asian elephants or with elephants in general. Um, so the Asian species, the females have short pegs of ivory um, that we call touches. And then the males will tend to grow, will grow those really large tusks and they'll get bigger and bigger as they get older. Uh, but in this yard right now, we don't have any adult males, just a young male, so his tusks are still quite small. Um, so that brings us to an interesting fact that the herd of elephants that you normally see is a female group. So it's a matriarchal society and the um, group is led by the matriarch who is generally the oldest, smartest, wisest elephant. In our case, that's Mitai. Um, and then all the sisters and aunties um, together will take care of the babies. And then as the babies get older, the females will stick with the herd and they have very maternal instincts and they want to help take care of the next generation of babies. Whereas the males kind of have a different lifestyle. They start to want to play rough and tough and um, spar and the females don't like that. So eventually they get kicked out of the herd. They are off on their own messing around with other males. And then when they become mature enough to rejoin a herd for socializing, that's when that can happen. So this is Tilly here on camera for you guys. Uh, Tilly is five years old. She was born here at the Houston Zoo. Uh, Tilly weighs eh, almost 5,000 pounds, probably about 4,500 pounds now. So an adult female Asian elephant will weigh usually somewhere between seven and 9,000 pounds. And an adult male Asian elephant will usually weigh somewhere between 10,000 to 14,000 pounds. So much, much larger. Elephants grow slowly, so generally they won't reach their full size till they're in their 20s. Um, and then when we have a newborn baby elephant, which we are expecting one this winter, yay, um, 
we, baby elephants generally weigh somewhere between 200, 300 pounds, maybe 400 if it's a really, really big baby. And then when they're first born, uh, they gain about two to three pounds every single day just from their mother's milk. And then um, they'll start to graduate to eating solid foods. When they're about six months, they'll experiment. And by the time they're a year old, they love to eat all the hay and produce and everything else that their moms eat, but also equally want to drink the milk. So we have a question here. What's your favorite about working with elephants? Um, so I enjoy working with elephants uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, one, they're super intelligent. It's really fun to do training with them. Um, we use positive reinforcement here at the zoo. So similar to how you would train your dog, you teach them to do something and then in return they get a treat um, as their reward. Um, so we do a ton of that stuff here at the zoo with our elephants. It helps us take the best care of them. Um, so that way they have the best welfare here at our zoo. Um, we train them to do things like opening their mouth so we can check their feet or check their teeth or lifting their feet up so that we can check their nails. Um, having them put their bodies in certain positions so that way we can um, check their bodies for any cuts, abrasions, bug bites, um, giving them a bath. And also, most importantly, is for medical procedures like drawing blood. So we have them come up close to a cable, we can grab their ear, we can actually insert a needle, and they just stand there for it because they're getting their positive reinforcement, uh, which is usually apples and carrots or bread, um, sometimes grain. And at the end of their blood draw, they get a really special treat. Usually they get a whole cantaloupe. So Kelsey asks, can they reach the bottom of the pool? Well, they can. The pool is about 10 feet deep at the deepest part but there are shelves built into the pool. So you can kind of see there, Tilly is um, on one of the shelves. Um, and then even the smallest elephants at this point, because they're three, if they kind of stand with their bottom feet on the ground and their heads above the water, they, I think that they can touch the deepest part of the pool. So Lori is asking uh, which elephant in our herd is pregnant, and that elephant is Shawnee. Um, and Shawnee is one of our females that has had many babies here at the Houston Zoo. Um, she is hanging out with Mitai the matriarch right now. She's not in the pool. Um, but you, if you come to the zoo, you'll notice her because she is definitely the widest elephant that we have here. Um, and she's been pregnant you know, for a very long time. Their gestation period in, on average is about 22 months and she's due this winter. So she's been carrying that baby for a long time. So now over here uh, we have Tess, one of our mom elephants. She's getting a drink of water. Um, we have drinkers set up around the pool with fresh water that they don't swim in, um, that they are free to use all day. But one of their favorite activities is taking water from the hose. And you know what? It's one of the keeper's favorite activities, too, is giving water to the elephants. So it's a win-win for all of us. Um, we also are making sure, um, you know, this way we're completely sure that our elephants are well hydrated, especially with this Houston heat um, in the summertime. You know, it affects us. It can also affect the elephants. So hydration is very important for these guys. Um, easily an adult elephant can drink a bathtub's worth of water if they're thirsty. They also drink the water to cool themselves off. Um, elephants don't sweat like humans. Um, instead, they will remove heat from their bodies, one, by flapping their ears because their veins and arteries come really close to the surface of their skin but two, getting their skin really wet and all those wrinkles in their skin absorbs the moisture and that way they get that evaporative cooling effect. So we have another question, how long is their gestation period? And that is about 22 months, so almost two years um, before we have a baby elephant born. So very long, it's the longest of any land species. Um, I do believe whales, some whales might have a longer gestation period, but that's it. in the 
water for usually. So Tamara is asking how long do the elephants swim in the water? And that just depends on what they want. Um, so sometimes they go in and it's just for a short, quick cool off. Other times they go in for the apples and then maybe they get all the apples and then get out. And then other times they might be in the pool for an hour or two. So it just kind of depends on what they're doing. Baby elephants are very unpredictable. They're just like kids. Uh, they have a lot of play um, built into their system. And so the pool helps with um, them getting all that energy out. So you can see here, uh, we have some more elephants getting drinks from the hose. Right there is uh, Shawnee, and that is the pregnant elephant that someone asked about earlier. Uh, she's getting a drink right there with her tongue hanging out all silly. You can see she is, her belly is quite large. Shawnee has had a number of calves here at the Houston Zoo. Um, Nelson, her youngest, uh, is a male, and so he's slowly at this point transitioning over to the bull yard, joining his dad and um, his other bull friends. Um, and then Joy, uh, who is her seven-year-old daughter, hangs out in the yard with her still. And then her two oldest sons uh, were our two elephants that were recently sent off to the Denver Zoo to hopefully um, get ready to join some breeding programs in the future. So how else do elephants cool off in the summer? So like I said, uh, they'll get wet, um, get that evaporative cooling going. They'll flap their ears, which helps to bring that hot blood to the surface of their ears. And then it cools off in the air. And then that blood gets recirculated through their bodies. So just a tiny bit of heat change, but it makes a big difference in their bodies. A second way or a third way, obviously, is just by staying in the shade when it's sunny out. Um, just like humans, you know, all animals want to be in a shaded area. It's going to help keep them cool. And then also by putting mud on their bodies uh, helps to keep that moisture in their skin. And then if they don't have water available, they'll still even throw um, sand or hay or grass on their backs to try to help protect their skin from the sun. So another question from Sid Cindy was, who is the oldest elephant in our herd? So the oldest elephant in our herd is Mitai there, who is getting a drink right now. Um, and Mitai is 59 years old. Uh, she's been living at the Houston Zoo since the early 80s. Um, you can tell Mitai apart from the others because she does have a really big pink mark on her forehead. And then also you can notice that like the tip of her trunk and the forehead part of her trunk is very pink. Um, so that's a loss of pigmentation that happens over time. It's normal in Asian elephants. But generally, the oldest elephant is going to have the most of that interesting marking on their bodies. So you might wonder if Mitai gets in the pool. And I'm going to tell you that she does not. Mitai is pretty old. Um, so Mitai generally, when she's really hot and there's nobody out here with the hose, she'll go up to the edge of the pool and she'll just suck the water up her trunk and then she'll spray it on her body. So that's um, an older elephant. That's how she deals with mitigating her heat um, issues. Um, unlike I said, like the baby elephants generally just are in and out of the pool all day long. So how can you help save elephants in the wild? Well, the easiest thing to do in Houston would be to come to the Houston Zoo, buy a ticket, come see the animals. Um, a portion of your ticket um, does go to conservation efforts in the wild. Um, specifically here um, at the Houston Zoo, we're supporting Asian elephants that are in Borneo. And in Borneo, they have a um, designated subspecies of Asian elephants that is recognized now by the IU. CN um, threatened species, which is pretty cool. There's only about a thousand Borneo elephants left in the wild. And so the Houston Zoo helps um, a PhD um, recipient, Farina Offman. And she has a program where she helps um, work with locals that live in areas that share spaces with wild elephants. So wild elephants normally live in forested areas. Um, and in Borneo, with 
logging and deforestation at such a rapid rate, um, elephants are coming into more and more contact with humans. And so this can be obviously very dangerous. Uh, elephants are very, very large. They come in big groups and they can cause a lot of uh, you know, problems in the areas. They also love to steal crops and knock down trees and you know, all kinds of havoc that they can wreak on the humans that are living there. And so then the humans get scared, but Farina and her program and the people that she works with are there trying to help the people and the elephants live more cohesively together. So thanks for tuning in. Um, so you can come to the zoo to see how our elephants cool off during your next zoo visit. <laughs>